Have you seen this little guy around? The winter moth caterpillar is making an unwelcome return. And the harsh winter didn't stop that caterpillar that feeds off of all of our trees. It just slowed it down. As meteorologist Pamela Gardner shows us, if this guy is in your yard, the time to act is now. Trees are springing back to life as the weather turns warmer. But if you look closely, you may notice holes. You really start to notice that the leaves are being eaten and then there's stuff falling off the trees and that there's something living in the trees that it's doing it. The winter moth caterpillar is what's living on the leaves. They started showing up in the greater Boston area 12 years ago. Each year they go further and further into Metro West. What they do is they defoliate the leaves of the trees and absolutely decimate populations. Their favorite species are maples, oak trees, cherry trees, crab apple trees. The moths emerge from the ground in November and are active in winter. That's when the adult lay eggs. The caterpillars hatch and start snacking on buds and leaves in the spring. This tiny caterpillar, smaller than my fingernail, starts to grow to about an inch in size, but then once you actually see them on the trees, it's too late. If you're not treating them by the first week of June at the absolute latest, all the damage has already been done. The trees are defoliated by that point. These homeowners caught on and began treating their trees at this time for the last four years. What impressed them each time? How many caterpillars did fall out of the trees after we did treat? We had no idea how bad it was until we saw it actually go into effect. But then after that, each year has been better and we've seen less and less damage because we've treated every year. If you have any reservations about treatment, contact a certified arborist and ask what materials the company uses. Once we learn more about the process and exactly what they use and discover that it is just a natural fungus that you find in soil that they spray into the trees, it's not a chemical, it's just a naturally occurring thing that made us much more willing to spray the trees. Pamela Gardner, WBZ News.